these three stocks have outperformed the S&P 500 recently and set to take off after this bullish pattern shows up with potential massive move ahead. So let's just dive in. So the first stock is LB, L Brands. So at the first glance, L Brands has a very impressive run up since probably last year, May. So after the COVID sell off, so this is the COVID sell off right there. You can see that and subsequently it had a very uh, great trading structure right here. So forming sort of a, a rounding bottom. So breaking out and subsequently has been on a very nice uptrend here. So recently it just formed a potential reaccumulation range. So let's just focus on the recent reaccumulation range and also the price action. So this is pretty much a textbook style reaccumulation range. So why did I say that? So first of all, we definitely some increasing of the volume. So that's pretty much just set up a, by a buying climax. And also this is the automatic reaction and subsequently define this trading range. And after the spring, so the, this is a spring, like a temporary commitment below the previous support level and have a very quick recovery up. So after the spring, it just had this sign of strength rally and followed by this backing up action. So in terms of the up wave, this is definitely the biggest that we have ever seen in this trading range. And also look at this reaction. So look at how shallow is this reaction compared to this reaction, this reaction, or even the previous reaction. So definitely in a sweet spot. And what I actually anticipate is a breakout of this immediate resistance level and to trend higher to test the targets. So the target ahead is probably around $78. That's the previous resistance level. So that is uh, certainly a high chance to do that. And in terms of the volume, you can see that right after the sign of strength rally, so supply has been decreasing. This is a very encouraging sign for the stock to trend higher. So either you can trade the breakout or if you want, wait for a bit of the time and to see if you can just pull back and have type of the reversal signal. That is a good potential entry as well while your stock could be somewhere around the swing low level just below this candle. So that's probably my plan. All right. So before I go to the next stock, I would appreciate if you can just like this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. That would mean a lot to me. Okay, so back to the next stock. Right, so this is TMDX. So TMDX has been on a very speculative run up and you can see that the price action is very volatile and that's uh, somewhere in february to about uh, april uh, this year so previously let me zoom out a little bit you can see that there is a range form so this is pretty much a, a down sloping uh, range and after the breakout so that's the portion that started the uptrend and if you want to take a holistic view, that's probably some kind of the rounding bottom. So right after the breakout of the pivot point, so this is the resistance or the pivot point, you can see that there is kind of the volume coming out. So there's supply coming out, try to sell it, sell it uh, on a way up, sell it on string. And you can see there's quite a lot of the absorption because that's the reaction to the downside is just insignificant and subsequently followed by absorption on the way up and to push a price up. Despite that, there is a lot of the volatility involved during this uh, period of the uptrend. We do see that there is a lot of the absorption as well. So you can see there's a spike of the supply, but eventually it just sort of topping up here. So there's somewhere around 48 and the real sell-off comes with this volume here so this is a ton of the supply coming out and to break below this immediate support level and subsequently just sort of going into a downtrend but encouragingly is the supply has been decreasing 
and sort of forming a bullish structure itself so a uh, routing type of the structure and this is probably a sign of strength really breaking out and commit above the resistance level so this is definitely the, the bullish sign or uh, the bullish pattern and you can see that before that so let me zoom in a little bit here so just ignore these three candles so we do see this kind of the sign of strength rally followed by the supply absorption process and it's pending to break out however due to the market environment and a broad market sell-off so this stock actually just go down but it did not really commit below the immediate support level in fact it just had a deep and very quick recovery up so it looks like it's set to break out of the immediate resistance level and to trend higher to test the next level at around uh, 40. Uh, if you can just break above then 48 is the ultimate target okay so either the breakout type the simple breakout like break above this immediate resistance level at uh, 35 point th around 35 or even 35.1 as long as it can come in above i think it would be uh provide a great reward to risk ratio with a first target at uh, 40. otherwise uh to see if you can just go to have another dip or you can catch this type of the reversal signal all right so this is tmdx so the last stop is angle so let me zoom out a bit uh, for angle so you can see that um angle has been um going up since probably last year july so it's a very much straight uptrend however there is a very strong resistance level at about 24 so definitely we do see angle struggle to break above so this is the first time it just attempt to break out above the 24 uh, resistance level so there is quite a bit of the uh, reaction there and eventually it just sort of give up and have another attempt and this time let me zoom in you can see that there is a very nice bullish structure so the first attempt to break out is actually uh, literally somewhere here we can see that it's just kind of struggle and we see that volume is going down so there's just lack of a quality demand to push the price up however look at this reaction so based on the supply level and also the magnitude of the reaction there isn't much selling so eventually it's just sort of forming a very shallow type of the reaction or you can recognize something like a routing type or the carpet handle and eventually started this sign of strength rally a very minor backing up or i can just call this a, a minor sign of strength rally while this is the probably the major sign of strength rally with a major backing up action and last friday it just sort of attempt to break out the immediate resistance level at about 28. so this is indeed a very bullish sign with a sign of strength rally and also a backup, backup action so in terms of the supply level i don't really see a very threatening supply level apart from there's a, a spike of the supply right there right after this uh, little candle and we see that there is a reaction so this is coming from the supply level however supply has been decreased and now that is just attempt to break out again so last friday there is a bit of the rejection tail so you can see that it did not really come in above however supply isn't high so we just need to see if there is going to be another reaction like the previous one or it will just sort of have this type of the supply absorption before going to break out and test higher so the immediate uh resistance definitely is this somewhere around 28.3 um the next target i would say probably will be around 31 that's go all the way back to 20 uh 2007 or 2006 if i remember correctly but anyway the most important part is that it need to come in above the immediate resistance level and that's why we need to see how it actually 
um, ha have the reaction unfold, whether it will have the absorption on the way up to have a breakout, then I think that could offer another great entry and with a target around 31. All right, so this is angle and I think it's still a very bullish structure and with a very decent uh, low supply level. Okay, so hope you enjoyed it. So if you'd like to learn more on how to increase your winning rate and also check out other trading opportunities, definitely uh, look at the video that showed on the screen right now. And do remember to join my newly launched Telegram group to interact with me and also get an ad hoc market update. Or you can just join the weekly email updates uh, for the great trading and investing ideas. All right. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon.